If you're jumping between tutorials wondering why nothing is clicking, this video is for you. I've been there, I wasted months thinking I was learning to code. But really, I was just watching videos and hoping something would eventually make sense. Spoiler, it didn't. I couldn't build anything on my own and I had no idea what I was doing. I thought YouTube tutorials would get me job ready. I was wrong. I remember one night, 2am, watching a 45 minute video on Flexbox convinced this would be the one that finally unlocked the secrets of CSS. Spoiler alert, it didn't. I still couldn't center a div. My browser had so many tabs and bookmarks, I actually needed a roadmap just to find my roadmap. If I could start over today with everything I know now, I would do it completely differently. So if you're just starting your coding journey or feel stuck, Here's exactly what I would do if I had to start from scratch in 2025. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Pete and I've been writing code professionally since 2012. During that time, I've learned a lot and for the past few years, I've been leading dev teams at some big name companies. My job with this channel is to help you learn how to code properly and actually get things done and hopefully land your first job as a dev. When I started, I thought free meant best. I was watching tutorials, reading blog posts, forums, Stack Overflow threads, and Reddit arguments. It felt like drinking from five fire hoses at once, and I was still thirsty. One time, I spent an entire weekend trying to connect a contact form to an email using PHP. I had five tabs open trying to fix the errors, but I didn't even know what the errors meant. It felt like the computer was shouting at me in a language I didn't even speak. I gave up and desperately hard-coded a fake message sent pop-up instead. The problem was I had no roadmap and no one to tell me if what I was doing was correct or not. No idea what I should be learning, what I could skip, or when I was good enough to build something real. The worst part, I could follow tutorials but couldn't build anything on my own. I would type what the instructor typed line for line and then stare blankly when the code didn't do what I expected. I tried to build a to-do app and spent three days stuck on adding a new task when I pressed enter. Every tutorial skipped the actual explanation and I was just copying code hoping it worked, which it didn't. I call it the copy-paste curse. You're typing code, sure, but you're not thinking in code. It's like reading shit music without knowing how to play an instrument big difference. And that's the gap no one tells you about. The worst part is that it messes with your head. You start thinking maybe you're not smart enough, maybe you're not meant to be coding. Especially when some YouTuber tells you that AI will steal your job or says HTML is dead when you're still figuring out what a div is. That can only lead to you being overwhelmed, confused and deeply in tutorial hell running in circles. The breakthrough for me came when I stopped seeing coding as a passive thing. You don't learn guitar by watching someone play solos for 10 hours. You learn by picking it up and fumbling through chords, right? Same thing with coding. You have to get your hands dirty in order to understand what's happening. I call it the learn, do, teach cycle. Learn a concept, apply it in a small project, then try explaining it to someone else or to a rubber duck. It doesn't matter if you can explain it, you probably understand it. When I was starting out, I tried to build a tip calculator from scratch. It should have been simple. You add the price and it calculates the percentage for the tip you should leave. But I spent more time googling how to round decimals than writing actual logic. And yet, finishing that project gave me more confidence than 10 tutorials ever did. What I needed and what I would tell myself now is this. Find a structured step-by-step -step path that lets you build stuff as you learn. No fluff. No guesswork, no should I learn React now or spend six more weeks understanding functions and closures. The thing is, there are a lot of great free resources out there, like Free Code Camp, The Odin Project, YouTube Playlists, and they all bring something to the table. But here's one thing I realized. Most either drown you in theory or move so fast that you're left trying to catch up and figure things out with no real guidance. Like trying to build an IKEA furniture by just watching at the picture on the box. Just a pile of parts and a lot of guessing. But if you had the manual, everything would become much, much easier. It's not that they're bad, they're just not always beginner friendly in practice. What I really needed was something in between. A clear guided path that let me practice as I learned. Something that encouraged me to build 
not just watch. One platform that really nailed that balance for me is Scrimba. And full transparency, they are sponsoring today's video. But they are only here because I genuinely believe in the product and the way their courses are structured. Honestly, it's the kind of platform I wish I had when I was trying to figure all this out and I will tell you why. Scrimba makes learning to code feel much more hands-on and engaging and that's exactly what we need. You don't just watch tutorials, you actually code inside them. Like the instructor writes a line, then you jump in and tweak it right there. It's like VS Code and YouTube had an genius baby who wants you to actually code and not just watch. They offer over 80 courses aimed at the modern web developer. All of them take a practical project-based approach where you will frequently be tasked to take over from the teacher and solve challenges with your bare hands. They have also recently launched the full stack developer path with more than 100 hours of interactive content. It's designed to build your skills step-by-step step from zero knowledge to fully hireable. It got more than 500 hands-on challenges and even a full module on AI engineering, which is super helpful if you're curious about how to use AI as a developer. The community on Discord is super active, where you can ask questions, get feedback, or just cry about CSS bugs with other like-minded devs. I've popped in there a few times and the support is real. No question is too basic and that matters when you're just getting started. And you know what's the best thing? Around 80% of Scrimba's content is actually free to access. You can jump in and start learning without paying a single penny. Upgrading to Pro lets you unlock completion certificates, unlimited challenges, and features like AI feedback, full access to the Discord, and all their Pro courses and paths. Use my link in the description to sign up, and you will qualify for an extra 20% of the Pro plan when you decide to upgrade. So. If you're serious about learning to code, Scrimba is where I would start. So if I had to start over in 2025, here's the game plan. Number one, pick one clear path. I would start with web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or Python. No distractions, no fancy frameworks such as React or Next.js, not AI. Just the basics done well, because solid foundations save you from constant confusion later. Early on, I remember trying to dive into complex frameworks before I truly understood how basic JavaScript worked. I thought learning the cool tools first would make me job ready faster, but all it did was confuse me more. Don't do that. This video was made especially to help you choose a clear learning path and I left a PDF document with actionable steps to help you get things rolling. Two, follow a structured course. Not a playlist, not a random blog post, one platform that takes me from zero to deploy. I would follow a course like Scrimba's Frontend or Full Stack Path. I wasted months hopping between tutorials because I didn't know where I was going. A clear path would have saved me so much time, effort, and frustration. Number three, build as I go. Every new concept, I would turn it into a mini project. Learn JavaScript functions, build a calculator. Loops, make a simple quiz app. Fetch API, weather app with open weather map. One of my early projects was an expenses tracker, and even though it looked terrible, it taught me more than any tutorial could. Number four, get feedback. I would join a community to share code, ask dumb questions, and realize everyone else is passing through the same things as me. Feel free to join my Discord server and Scrimba's Discord server and connect with others that are on the same path as you are right now. You can share your progress and struggles and stay accountable. I once asked a really basic CSS question in a group and expected judgment. What I got instead was 10 helpful replies and three friend requests within an hour. That actually kept me going. Number five, stick with it. I wouldn't panic switch to another tutorial every time I didn't understand a concept in coding. I would take a walk, then come back and try again. You don't need to learn it all at once, you just need to keep showing up and be patient. And if I were you, I would also start pushing code to GitHub from day one. Not because recruiters are stalking it, but because seeing your progress over time is extremely motivating. Plus, it builds your habit of working in a real dev environment early on. If you're switching careers, learning later in life, or just feel behind, please hear this. You're not too late. The industry moves fast. Sure, but new developers are joining it every single day. What matters is not being the smartest in the room, it's showing up 
learning consistently and asking for help when you need it. Whether you're 18 or 38, you can do this. You don't need to catch up, you just need to start. And yes, AI is changing things fast, but that's not a reason to panic. It's a reason to learn. The more you understand the fundamentals, the more AI becomes a tool you can use, not something you have to fear. Real developers still need to know how to think, solve problems, and write logic. AI can help, but it will not replace that. If you're just starting or restarting your coding journey, remember, you don't need to figure it all out at once. You just need the right direction, a bit of consistency, and a small push. And that's why I'm here. If you like this video, smash that like and subscribe button and comment your biggest coding struggle below. And remember to use the link below to check out Scrimba and get 20% off. Thanks for watching you legend, I'm Pete and I'll see you on the next one.